Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate. Welcome back to Station Ears. And the base is ticking along quite nicely. I, I put up another light, and I put up a little light in here, and apparently the light bleeds through walls, but that's fine. I do, while it is nighttime, want to crack out one more batch of steel, a little pile of resources here. And the other thing I want to do, got more coming? Yeah, the other thing I want to do is to get a bit of research done. So I have actually topped up our research machine with uh, some materials so it has a whole bunch of canisters in it we're going to do a bunch of unlocking first of all though let's see if i can get this uh, working nicely this is always for me oh, this is a bit tricky so i need okay got the ice split one one ice push the button yep yeah. and now i want split one or of the volatiles push the button. I'm going to click it one, lots and lots anyway, but split one more, push the button, and that seems pretty hot. Okay, cool. I think that's hot enough. I can now put these in. They'll take a little time to process. And that's, that's two iron. I need three iron and one carbon. In this case, the coal. Two three and if i was very clever i would sort out some kind of gas capture so one of the things you can do in the game and my buddy jastron has done is he captures all the outbound gases separates them and that helps him uh, do stuff that i don't quite understand i think it's all done yeah why are you not working Oh, no, it did work. Okay, phew. Brilliant. Uh, that's fine. So we'll drop that steel there. Have made a little bit, and now I get to turn on the old vent, which I quite like. <laughs> you can see all the hot gases coming out. And as I go over it, it's 50 degrees. It's dropping a bit. 28, 240 degrees. Whoa. I've got to keep away from that vent. Look at all the gas coming out. The pressure goes up as well, I think, even. If I look at the external pressures... No, oh, it's dropping off now. Yeah, it's dropped off. It's pretty much vented out. That's fine. All right, that is good. Yeah, pressure's down, temperature's down. Oh, it's still declining. Going to leave it there. Let's close that. So, oops, don't want to lose these ingots. They do take a bit of time to make. That's a lead one. So I do actually also want to make a little bit of storage for this stuff. Because right now I'm kind of just chucking it all around like this. It's not... Okay, well, I get it, game. We'll turn that. It's not exactly optimal. So we'll put that in. I'll pick up some of these resources. I have been stockpiling, as you can see, while I've been uh, offline. So what I want to make is a locker. Kit locker. Okay, I want at least... It's just iron. I want at least two or three of them. I'm going to put some inside, and I'm going to put some uh, in our storage room here. And... Mm, that's probably fine. Well, not really storage room, uh, smelting room. Grab, grab one. And if you have two, then you have a lot of space to put stuff, basically. Actually, I probably can put it right here. I don't think it's going to get in the way of the sun. So I can just leave that. And as you see, I can just put down, and it counts for, like, a massive locker. Um, and I can put, like, resources in it and what have you. Yeah, nice one. Okay, how many have we got here right now? One. I want to maybe put one here. I could put one on the wall there. Actually, that wouldn't be too crazy either. I think I'll get another one out. If I just had one, it would only produce like a really slim one. Oh, we out of resources. Yeah, and it wouldn't be as nice as I would like. I think that is uh, probably... Do I have any frames? What are we looking at here? Iron wall, iron wall. No, nah, just drop those there. Glass sheets. No. Let us put this in. Try for iron frame. Iron frames. Yes, just want one. And... Okay, cool. That can go down here. And then I need some iron sheets. What am I going to do? Just switch that around. There's always little jobs to do in games like this, isn't there? There's always 
something else to fiddle with. Um, sheet, iron sheets. So I do want to get onto some of the steel making because I think that's going to be very helpful for us. I don't know how many of these I've got, so just get a little, little bunch going. Uh, and my tool belt, where are you? There, take that, turn that on, and run over. Where are we? Ah, uh, there. One, two, turn that off. Put you back in here, and better turn off them. Oh, okay, yep. Turn that off, fine. And uh, we'll put this here. All right, okay, so if I open the locker, I can put my spare lockers in there and I can put everything else in there too, which is handy, hey. So let's have a look at the research we can do and we can get on with producing stuff. So there's a few things I wanted to look at in here. The first was construction. So steel frames and steel sheets. I think that's gonna be really handy. That's gonna make us, uh, or give us the option of a new base, which is much stronger. Likewise, architecture, which gives us kits for different kinds of walls, which will make everything look a lot prettier. Uh, life support. So gas containment. Uh, canister tank, or oh, kit, kit tanks, I think. Actually, do I need that right now? Um, hydroponics. Uh, yes. Fabrication. I don't know enough about those things, so I'm going to leave them alone. Don't know enough about that. Recyclers don't need right now. Advanced furnace, I don't know how to use anything about that right now. There are so many cool things to do here. Gas containment, that was one I did think was going to be potentially helpful. Chemistry, life support, we don't need life support. Microwave, foods, uh, a baked potato is probably a good idea medical products. Let's see if we can figure out what to do with the baked potato at some point. Cosmetics, no. Okay, so that is, do we have much left? Lots of blue stuff, but I, I don't see, like, have I just made a bunch of blue canisters which I can't even use? That would seem appropriate. No, I'm not missing something. I don't know what these blue ones are for. Show locked. Uh, I've got to get to... Okay, maybe that's... Those are green. Hmm. Well, color me... Oh, well, there's one blue for nuclear fuel. Well, I found one use for blue so far. That seems a mm, little suboptimal. Oh, well, what a waste of time. I was turn this light off, turn that one off. Save power, right? So we do now have the option to produce steel stuff. Can we find it in here? Steel frames and steel sheets. So I think, you know, I think if we want to get into making uh, more stuff, more fresh stuff, th then we should be using steel for it. So we could, oh, thank you, copper. Uh, what else should I melt down? Probably some more iron. So I do think, just pick that up. I do think we want to make some steel frames and I think we want to start on a newer base. So we want to sort of expand things a little. Uh, and so we're going to need some steel for that. Um, actually, I might take steel and iron and shove them in this general constructor. Seems like a good idea. And uh, why not a bit of copper too? Yeah. And let's see if we can make some steel frames. So what would we do here? I'm thinking, having a look around, it might be cool to sort of, just sort of expand this base, basically this way, and to do so with steel. And then eventually to kind of just, um, I don't know, pop the bubble on it. I should go in and I should go in and top things off a bit here as well. Yeah thinking about it so I do you yeah, not pop the bubble kind of just yeah well basically put some atmosphere in here and then take out these interior walls give me give me more space kind of stuff since the airlock and everything is working fine that is definitely an option so one of the things I do want to do is get a floor kit done at least just one yeah and 
a storage store our locker that was it isn't it locker so at least one more let's get that done and uh, go set the the insides up a little teeny bit better and uh, then start expanding the base a little bit almost okay cool right so the okay now on the wall although floor, floor grading on the walls does sound kind of cool nice that's uh, hiding things away quite tidily uh, all these internal walls and what have you are a bit ugly so i would like to fix these up a bit uh, what might be best is to kind of just extend the frames this way and essentially plan to build a base that's kind of over here um yeah that's sort of my thought because i don't know how i'm gonna sort of properly put everything together yet and I, I do worry that I'm going to sort of make horrendous mistakes. And I'm going to have to figure out some kind of gas system, make everything work that, well, really nice as well. I do want to stick to a couple of principles. The first is that we will essentially have like service corridors. So like maybe down the side of our base will be a, a sort of service room. And I don't want to use solid frames for it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not, I'm just not a massive fan of the solid frames as building blocks. I like to use walls. It just feels more sort of natural. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. That's just me. I can be a bit fussy. So we will do some kind of base like this. And what I will also do is probably aim to kind of build up and see if we can get a little bit of height and continue to sort of expand our our solar farm and our solar farm might end up sort of attached to one side or or just put over there with a sort of an industrial area i haven't quite decided yet also i will need to start capturing the gases from our smelting operations and to use the um the forge here a little bit more intelligently i think uh, that way i can sort of pressurize this this new base better but for now i think we can just lay out uh, some of the uh, frames here and do i even did I, did I even put together enough 29 it should be enough for now so these can be solid as you can see the steel ones do have kind of a better look about them which is awesome and my goal again is to probably have a kind of a downstairs uh, sort of service area and uh, rooms, entertainment rooms, what have you. And then upstairs I will put um, like food production and what have you, hydroponics. So we'll see how that works. I'm going to have to lay out these first. And I think internally I can just use some kind of stair kits to uh, make it all work for us. But I do have these walls I can set up in a second so we can kind of experiment with how everything would fit together. All right, click that last one properly. Right, I'm short of frames. Ah, just a few more. Okay, come over here. All right, cool. That's going to be the, the basic base of the base. That's too much alliteration. So the next step is steel walls. So we can have just a kit wall, and that produces um, different kinds of windows, composite walls, railings. So I can just have the straight walls and straight railings. I I do have these other wall kits as well. I wouldn't mind trying those out too. So we'll just pick up all these sheets for starters. Um, can leave that running, I think. So the other wall types we have are geometric walls, which produce kind of a, um, see they've got like little patterns on them. It's a little hard to see straight T junction corner it's kind of cool uh, there's also padded walls which I might just have a little a little look at as well wall not geometric arched uh, padded let's try that so the geometric kit wall kit geometric wall so padded walls produce these kind of cool corridors, which I think are kind of kind of quite neat. So if I put some here, they would be on the inside. And as you can see, padding, I can have different amounts. There's room for a light fitting, even a vent. 
Uh, I don't know how it if it if it works nicely as a corner. Right, I think I've figured it out. So what I've decided is I probably want the entrance to be kind of about here with an airlock. And then what I want is, so you come sort of, uh, let me think, you go through an airlock here, the space, and then about here, if you want the stairs on the left, I want the stairs going upstairs. So yeah, I've, I think that's what I'm gonna do. The other thing I want to do, other than pick up all of these frames, is, well, is I want to use the doors. So, let's have a look. Uh, where are we? Glass door facing in like that. And another one facing in like that. So this will be the airlock here. Um, there might be some sort of little service room here where I can get to bits and bobs. Um, and the third door here, so I want a little roller door. Actually, I want the kind of roller door over, have a look, about here to go to the um, service facility. So I'm just gonna put that in there. So that's gonna be a roller door. And here, once I've collected all of these walls, I think I will make that the last one for now. So these walls are going to be how we uh, sort of handle the base. My thought is to make it from the outside in. I, I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that. So there you see that wall sits on the outside of the base. And do I make the whole thing? I think we will do it like that. I don't want to get too ambitious or I'm going to be building this forever. So these outside walls are going to be like this. Upstairs will then have floors and what have you. So we're going to be able to go around uh, slap steel sheets on that. And it'll look quite nice from the outside. And from the inside, I can then add my own walls if I want to. Um, what have I got there? That is flat wall. Yep. I can add extra bits and bobs. From the inside, it's going to look a little, little industrial. Alternately, just kind of thinking now, alternately, it might be down here as well. We want to make this the service area for pipes and air conditioning. Alternately, I might need to, can I just open that? What, what, uh, why does that do that? That doesn't seem like a door. <laughs> what is it useful for? I have no idea. I have to figure that out. Alternately, uh, actually I do need some more of that one. Flat wall. Yeah, alternately I'll have to put on the uh, inside walls first so I can attach things to them without them being the wrong way round. And then I can cover them up later. Uh, it's, a bit tr it's a bit of a tricky thing to decide. So for example, here I want the wall on this side so that I can attach stuff nicely. And likewise over here I want the wall on this side so that I can attach things nicely and it'll need a ceiling and all of that stuff too um, which will need to go on the inside of the room if that makes sense yeah so I think that's going to be our project um, the, f the ceiling here I think this can go on top like this, so you see how the floor is like that. And then we can just go around and attach this to everything. And upstairs will be where we do the hydroponics. Uh, now I do want to start thinking about the, where's my just wall? There it is. I want to start thinking about my windows. So even though I will be able to put down sort of electronic Composite windows, composite windows. Even though I'll be able to put down sort of very electronic uh, hydroponic systems, I thought it would still be quite cool to have a nice big room full of uh, glass so we can check out the, the scenery. Have I got that on the right side of the box? Yes, I think so. Running a little low uh, on the inside here. And I will need a bunch more of that just straight steel wall. 
But that will give us plenty of room in there to sort of look around and enjoy ourselves. So that's just wall. Uh, kit. Steel kit wall. There it is. Yeah, so I can create a bunch of that. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I think this could work. I think it could work fine. I'm a little bit worried about having to to pipe the um, pipe things in and out of it with those walls. But I guess there's only one way to, to find out if it's going to work. And that's to just do it. Yeah, and I think the... I think this is going to look quite big. I, I hope it's not going to be too time consuming to put together, but there's only one way to, to find out. We do have quite a few resources, so I guess we're just going to have to, to crack on and give it a go. And uh, window. And then on the roof. We'll have an inside window roof, and then we can always do an outside one as well. I think that works just fine. We are almost done with walling up the base at least how it should look going forward uh, and the roof I think we'll do it on the external for this one and that is basically that for the base without getting too much into the puns so we'll be able to come through here uh, come upstairs. Oh, we do want to probably fill out. Did we? Yeah, we did put the floor like that. Did probably want to fill out this a little bit more. I'm kind of inclined to leave at least a little hole in the middle. I think that might be quite, quite fun. And uh, we obviously need a hole here so we can just walk up the stairs without any interruption through the doors. And that's pretty great. So... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty confident that's going to be awesome. Might put on the plastic sheets and just leave these pried open just to remind us uh, that we are good to go. Yeah, like this, like this. And then they just need glass sheets and a crowbar. And yeah, that's how it's going to look. It's going to look pretty sweet, I think. Yeah, nice big views. Might put a little railing around this hole so we don't fall into it accidentally. Hydroponic stations along here. We can either have portable ones or powered ones. We have a little service room here if we need to have anything for the airlock. We have what well, I don't understand why that is. I'm gonna take that down and see if I can get another option on it. But um, some kind of roller door would be handy. Uh, so why that is like it is, who knows. Why is that a roll cover? I see. What is it covering up? I don't get it. But I do want to have... Oh, I need a little wall in there. So where are you, my walls? Kit wall? No, kit flat wall. Yeah, that needs to come in here. Um, just down here. Which side did we put that one on? On this side. Yeah. So we... Do we have one more? Or is that it? We are out. But here we'll have like service area. So if we need to pump gases or have any internal piping, we'll put it here where it's out of sight. I think that's going to look great. And I should probably finish that off in the next video since this one has taken an extremely long time. If you like what you've seen, then um, please drop me a message. Say hello. Uh, I don't know. Subscribe. Do that kind of stuff. Give me tips and advice. I, I will almost certainly need it. Until next time, I've been Tiny Pirate. Thanks for watching. Good night.